What on earth has just happened? I am, I'm genuinely just at a loss as to what has just happened to Eric Ten Hag and Manchester United. Arnie Slot, you know, he's just come into Liverpool and done that to Ten Hag. It is absolutely outrageous and incredibly impressive. The first Liverpool manager to beat Manchester United in their first game since Bob Paisley. That's just an incredible stat. And the first Liverpool manager since 1936 to win at Old Trafford in his first game. I mean, where do we even start here with what's just gone on? It's, it's absolutely crazy. Manchester United it looked so solid at the start of the game, I thought, you know, kind of Matthias de Ligt came into the side, he looked so solid. I remember a few times where Jota was sort of in on goal 1v1 against him and he just kind of swept him away like he was nothing. He did that a good few times as well. He was looking so solid. I think we all know that Manchester United's main put for today was Casemiro. Sadly for him, because I feel bad for him. It's it's really sad to see such a fantastic player being reduced to what he has become. It's really sad. You know, gave the ball away twice. It leads to two goals. And in fact, it was a Salah assist and a Gravin, uh not Graven Burge, uh, Leo, Luis Diaz goal both times, which is which is kind of poetic, I think. And that's, you know, that was a really rough way for, for Manchester United to end the first half, you know, going 2-0 down like that. But they're, they're still kind of in the game. They haven't created as much as they might want to, but they're still in the game, you know. And then, you know, they come out second half, Liverpool come out second half, you know, you're thinking they're going to have a really good go at this, you know, they're going to they're going to try and fight back, you know, this is Old Trafford. This is this is Manchester United. They're going to they're going to fight back here to get something from the game. It's only 2-0. You know, bigger deficits have been recovered, but they just didn't. And Liverpool scored that goal, you know, what feels like quite at their own leisure, just kind of out the gate, really, you know, in so I think it was the 60th minute or something like that, the third goal. That's a lot about Manchester United, but we do have to focus on Liverpool as well, because what an incredible performance that was. Absolutely astonishingly good. Liverpool's finishing was just so incredible, and the XG numbers for Manchester United and Liverpool were actually quite similar. Like, I, I think it was 1.52 to 1.5, very similar. But Liverpool were just decisive in taking those chances. A very a very similar goal to one that Diaz almost scored uh, against Brentford, where it sort of comes to him on the, just about the edge of the box, and he gets across it beautifully into the bottom right corner. But uh, Flecken saved that, an incredible save against Brentford. But today, it goes into the bottom right corner. Anana just left. When Dominic Sobersly and Luis Diaz, you know, both going for the header, you know, for that first goal as well, I was like, just re looked really lucky. I thought I thought Sobersly actually scored it. I don't know about you, but it looked like Sob Sobersly scored it from that angle. And I was kind of surprised to see how kind of athletic and how much kind of neck action Luis Diaz got uh, had going on there. It was, it was really impressive. Ryan Gravenberch as well, absolutely sensational. I, I do not have any words for how incredible that performance was. That was, as a DM, that has to be, that has to be one of the best DM performances I've seen in a while. It was just something else. Both of those uh, recoveries, where he wins the ball back from Casemiro both times, he, that is what leads to the goal. And that was what was so decisive for Liverpool today. What Arnie Slot has done to him in these past, you know, couple months is just absolutely insane. It like, you know, it's like they've given him some sort of super serum or something. He looks like he is the player he was at Ajax that we saw in 2021. Phenomenal. Mo, Mo Salah, his usual self, creating just this, this kind of shift that he's seen in roles in the past couple of years, you know, where he's, He's lost a bit of his pace, but it hasn't mattered at all. He's kind of accepted a more creative role in that Liverpool side, and it is working and paying dividends so heavily. He was incredible today. Those two assists, just phenomenal, phenomenal. And I think someone, I think someone that will go kind of under the radar for Liverpool is Dominic Sobersly. He does so much running; it is insane. If that. That guy's work rate. I don't play. I don't really play FIFA, but honestly, that guy's work rate must be ridiculous. It must be set ten stars. It's outrageous. Hat off though to Arnie Slot. How impressive has his start to his Liverpool career been? Beating Ipswich two 0 away. That's it's quite a difficult game. You know they promoted team. They were gonna be up for it. He's gone there, shown them what's what. You know a very controlled performance. Put them away in his first game. Job done. And then Brentford. Uh, uh, Brentford at Anfield as well, not an easy game. You know, we saw, uh, I've forgotten, was it last year when Brentford drew 3-3 with Liverpool? I'm not sure if that was Anfield or not, but we've seen Liverpool struggle with these kinds of games, but not this year. 2-0, immaculate, controlled, excellent. And now today, just the cherry on top, Liverpool could not have asked for a better start. 3-0 away at your biggest rivals, third game of the season, you know. At the start, you know, at the start of the season, people are going to be looking at that fixture, you know. Like, that's going to be, you know, that's going to be rough as slot. You know, we'll kind of accept 
will accept, uh, you know, maybe a draw, a loss. That would be fine. You know, perfectly be perfectly acceptable for the scenario. You know, Ten Hag had so long. You know, he's had two and a half years now, or however long it's been. He spent X amount of money. It must be close to 700, 600, 700 million pounds now. So it would have been forgivable to not get everything out of this game. But he's he squeezed everything out of it. It's unthinkable, and I'm very happy for him, I have to say. Yeah, I think I think that's about it. That's just a summary of my thoughts, I think, from the game. Just having seen it, what? I just, it's hard to believe. Ten Hag is going to be under some serious pressure now. Some serious pressure. He has no excuses at all. Certainly not to be getting something from that game, which I probably think they should have. Xerxy, Xerxy did have a few good chances, but realistically, you know, 3-0 is just unacceptable. And he, he will be under serious pressure now. The media... The English media in particular is going to come for him, that is for certain. I mean, that was just such an outrageous game though. I wanted to make a video and just have my thoughts out there and I'd be really curious to see what your thoughts are. So put them down in the comments down below. I'll reply to every comment. Wow, what a, what a weekend of football.